Hey there movie fans, welcome to the Blues of March. Uh, I have six new Blu-rays to show you and one uh, DVD. But first... <laughs> This time I'd like to give a shout out to Dutch Beats One. Uh, he's not a U YouTuber from uh, from the Netherlands, as you know his name suggests. He's actually from the UK, but um, he seemed like a very nice guy, and uh, he always leaves great comments on my videos. And um, you know, if you look at the number of subscribers on the channel, I believe he only has nine or ten subscribers, which is extremely low. So you know, this way I like to help him out and you know show him some uh, su support, and hopefully uh, you will also do that. So um, you know, go check him out and su subscribe to uh, Dutch Beats One. Okay, now let me show you my uh, latest purchases on DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, first up is the only DVD that I bought, and that is Today the Earth Caught Fire. Now this has been on my wish list uh, ever since I started wish list, really. Um, you now the first time I saw this movie, um, I was, you know, just a young teenager, and it made quite uh, an impact on me um, and then you know later on I saw it again and it's been on my wish list ever since but uh, for some reason I never got the DVD uh, but now I have and um, the story you can see it here a little there's a nuclear test conducted by the Americans and the Russians uh, in as pretendly knocked the world off its axis in other words because of these nuclear tests, uh, planet Earth is heading towards the sun. Now, that sounds like a silly story, but um, the way they done this, you know, they could have done this in a very cheesy way, you know, like they've done, uh, you know, many of these science fiction movies from the 19, uh, 1950s and uh, early 1960s. But this was you know they they approached the the story in a, in a very realistic in a very serious way, and it works. It really works. I, I believe this is one of the one of the most underrated uh, science fiction movies of all time. Really, um, it's yeah, it's fantastic. It is not really bit, don't expect any big spectacles or anything like that. It really is a character driven um, science fiction drama about the end of the world and um, I mean there, there, there are some um, amazing matte painting shots in this film there is one shot of the Thames in London which is completely dried up you know there's not a drop of water in it and uh, you know those kind of matte paintings uh, shots it looks very beautiful but yeah it's it's a great great underrated science fiction movie and I am glad to have this finally in my collection. The day the earth caught fire. Next is Hugo by Martin Scorsese. Uh, this is the 3D limited edition. Uh, I don't have a 3D TV or Blu-ray player, but um, you know I might uh, get one uh, later in the future. So, but you know this is. A wonderful, wonderful, magical film. Uh, I absolutely enjoyed it. Um, and I'm a huge Martin Scorsese fan. Uh, he's definitely one of my favorite uh, directors. And, uh, you know, I've Scorsese has never disappointed me. Uh, of any film that he made or any documentary that he made, he did not disappoint me. And uh, this time, he didn't disappoint me either. Uh, you know, such a wonderful film. It's not only a kids movie, but it's also a lot of things going on that really appeal to a grown up, especially to movie buffs, uh, because this is of course about uh, Georges Méliès, um, the legendary uh, French film pioneer played by Ben Kingsley, 
uh, you can see him over there and uh, Melies of course he, he made several um, short films well he, he made a lot of them actually I, I believe he made about what 500 800 maybe even more I, I don't remember I don't remember very well but he made you know a lot of short movies and some of them are very legendary for example a trip to the moon I mean we all know that uh, iconic image of the moon face with the uh, rockets in it I you know that's his, um, you know his most famous movie a uh, trip to the moon without a doubt and I'm still trying to get that and uh, I, I know there's a, a blu-ray steelbook of that uh, film uh, so I really want to get that and I also want to get the um, a box set with all the um, over nine, uh, 100 um, short films by Melies uh, but the price of that box set is a little bit too high so I'm still waiting for the for the price to drop a little but anyway a wonderful film it looks amazing uh, on high definition and um, yeah wonderful film Hugo Next up is the 50th anniversary edition of Cleopatra. Now this was a little bit too pricey to be honest and uh, on top of that I also had to pay custom duties uh, which is not always very nice but um, I was expecting it to be honest because this edition comes all the way from Japan and it is a beautiful edition uh, no matter how much the price was put that over here hang on here is the um, another digi pack comes with a beautiful uh, artwork over here and there's some over here as well and these are just you know advertisements and all that and if I open it up you can see the two disc over here of Cleopatra. The movie looks uh, amazing on the Blu-ray. Definitely not bad for a film that we're, that's um, 50 years old. It absolutely looks amazing. And here's uh, a little extra. This is a um, hardcover booklet. Cleopatra, uh, artist, uh, artistry of an epic. Uh, which is written in Japanese, but it has some beautiful uh, pictures on it as you can see here and Here's some pictures of the set You know nowadays of course you can create this with the uh, with the computer, but you know back then uh, each of these buildings and, and, and you know statues and uh, settings that was made by hand and it looks amazing even the details looks amazing this is of course the uh, famous um, scene where Cleopatra kind of comes uh, out of so well, she sits over here I believe that is an amazing scene it looks incredible on, on uh, high definition Yeah, beautiful book, beautiful small booklet, and you know, even though it is a little pricey, it's really worth the money if you ask me. Uh, beautiful uh, release. You know, this this film uh, was so expensive that it almost bankrupted the studio, 20th Century Fox, and I think because of that, you know, it it is known as one of the greatest failures of all time I believe because it was a, 
a commercial failure, people will, you know, say bad things about it. People say that it's one of the worst films of all time, but that is just nonsense. It is a great film. It's just a little bit too long, and um, yeah, it looks stunning on Blu-ray, absolutely. So that's it, Cleopatra, the 50th anniversary edition. Next are uh, the Blu-rays of Cape Fear and U571. I got this for you know two for 20 euros, so they're uh, 10 euros each. Uh, Cape Fear, uh, which is just a fantastic film. I really love this. This is, of course, Martin Scorsese's remake to the 1950s original, which stars Gregory Peck and Robert Mitchum. And as you can see here, they also has some small roles uh, in this version as well. And uh, I don't have the original uh, in my collection yet. Um, I know there's a Blu-ray of the original. But um, the Blu-ray doesn't have any special features. Now the DVD does have special features. But uh, the Blu-ray doesn't have that. And I, I don't know why they do that. You know, the, They finally sent the Blu-ray. But they don't add the uh, special features. I just hate when they do that. And talking about Blu-rays without special features. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, unfortunately. I actually saw there, there were some special features in it. But... Um, no, the, the, there is no, not one uh, single extra on it. I did have this on the DVD, and what I've done, the DVD of course does have special features, and what I've done is I added the DVD uh, in the um, in the uh, the Blu-ray with the Blu-ray, and so I kind of made my own DVD and Blu-ray combo over here, which is very nice. And this is a great film, uh, even though this is not historically correct, uh, because it wasn't the Americans that stole the Enigma coding machine, it was the British. But, you know, despite of that, it is a very uh, entertaining World War II submarine movie. Next is the UK steelbook of Repo Man, that this is a cult classic by Alex Cox. Uh, Alex Cox, you know, he, um, he's actually an, an incredibly ugly guy. I mean, I, I like him. He, he's a very funny guy also, and he has a great knowledge of movies, especially of um, spaghetti westerns. But if you just look at his photos, he's just so insanely ugly. <coughs> but this is a pretty good film. And uh, Repo Man, and of course this is uh, released by uh, Masters of Cinema, and it has the booklet that uh, Alice Cox has created himself. It has some nice drawings in there, and also has a comic book, I believe, because this was kind of based on a comic book. Oh, here it is. And of course, it has uh, some artwork on the inside there. Uh, yeah, great, great, well, not exactly great, but it's a great release, and the movie is, is okay, it's more than okay, it's a very above average film, but it's actually a weird film, I don't think this is everyone's cup of tea, but I, I, I love this one, the uh, skeleton over here, look at that, it's a very kind of glossy skeleton behind uh, Emilio Estevez over here, so yeah, very nice steelbook. And uh, the movie is, is pretty good. And last but not least, uh, I finally have uh, The Pillars of the Earth. Uh, this is a mini-series uh, produced by Ridley and Tony Scott. Ridley Scott is, of course, the director of Gladiator and, and Alien and Blade Runner. Tony Scott, his brother, his younger brother, is, of course, the director of Top Gun and the Crimson Tide and many other films with uh, Denzel Washington and um, I I had my eye on this for some time now um, but I just waited for the price to drop as it was a little bit too expensive for me but uh, I purchased this for 20 euros which is a very decent price and it's a great um, 
uh, mini show that kind of takes place in you know around the time of the uh, the Crusades. Oh, here it is, 1135. Uh, yeah, great, great um, mini series. Enjoyed it very much. Um, Ian McShane, he's just uh, he's really one of those guys that that you love to hate. You know, he he plays a, a very nasty villain in this film. But this is actually a very nice release. This is the uh, the Dutch release, kind of open like this. And there are some things inside. Let me show you what what they are. Uh, it has, you know, behind the pillars of the earth, Ken's Corner. These are just, you know, stories uh, about the production and all that. It's all written in Dutch. So. Uh, over here you have, oh, this is uh, something that... I believe these are yeah, these are just bookmarks and all that of some some of the characters. Nothing really special, and this is um, a poster. I can't show it to you, but a small poster of you know the uh, the principal uh, characters as you can see here. Very nice, and of course you have the Blu-ray Digi Pack. The first Blu-ray over there, and then the other four over there with a bonus disc as well. So yeah, I'm glad to finally have this. The Pillars of the Earth. Uh, this is a great uh, historical miniseries, like I said. And that was it for my uh, Blues of March. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.